how the spirit uh, moves. And I love how when you ask for answers, Hey, beautiful ones, Fran here, back with another really quick video. So today I am back with a message that I got this week around money. So before I go any further, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. I am probably a little somber and kind of like very um, monotone. I just got through praying, so I'm still a little elevated um, in spirit. And I just, I want to get this message out to you guys. I think it's really important. So I titled this video, Here's Why You Don't Have Money, right? Um, and this is the reason that I titled that video, Here's Why You Don't Have Money. So on the channel, we talk a lot about manifesting and creating our lives and how we, we marry the physical with the spiritual. So we marry um, the Word of God with the physical teachings of the laws of attraction and the laws of the universe, the laws of giving and receiving, the law of reciprocity reciprocation, the laws of the universe that go hand in hand with the biblical teachings and the spiritual teachings of creation and manifesting, right? So today during my prayer time, I was really praying about situations, emails, conversations that I've had this week. And a lot of you will email me, and even if I don't email you back, I read each and every email. And I try to find a way to address it universally across the board, especially if I keep seeing the same thing over and over and over again. And a lot of you have really had some victories and some triumphs in your manifesting and creating, and you're seeing the ball rolling, and you're very happy and you're very excited about, you know, your income and about money coming to you from, you know, unexpected sources, etc. And I'm very thankful for that. But I'm still also be very purposeful about those of you that are still finding it a little difficult to um, call in and create money in your life. Because to me, that's really like extremely important. Um, because living in lack and limitation means that your mindset is locked on the source. Your, your mindset is not fully understanding who the source of your abundance is. And I think that once we understand that God is an all-providing, never-ending, always-giving source, and is the source of substance that is invisible, meaning the heavenly substance, then you begin to have a different perspective about creating, manifesting money, and how it comes to you, and why it comes. If you're looking for increase in your finances, you cannot look to your nine to five, right? Doesn't mean that you shouldn't have a nine to five, but you need to understand that that nine to five is not your source. You have to understand who God is in order to understand how you are provided for. Do you sit in the house and say, well, you know, I want money. I want money. I want money. I want money. And money's going to magically appear? Absolutely not. Subconsciously, you are connected. Whether you are conscious of it or not, subconsciously, you are connected to the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit runs through your body constantly. You are always connected to God. And God is always present, right? Here's the thing. We want to put God present in some manners of our life, but we don't want to put him present in all manners of our life. We want to blame God when things aren't going right, 
But we forget to praise him while we're in the hallway. And we forget to praise him while we're waiting. We forget to praise him when good things are happening. Now, praise and worship is different for everybody. For me, it's simply saying thank you probably a million times a day. Some people have a different way of praising and worshiping. But are you including God in every area of your life? Are you including him in the matters of your finances? Are you just saying, God, I want money. I need more money. I can't pay my bills. I can't do this. I can't do that. I, I don't have enough to make ends meet. Why do they have so much? Every seed that you plant that comes out of your mouth grows. Every thought is planted in your subconscious mind. Your subconscious is connected to the spirit and the mind of God. Your heavenly staff moves according to your vibration, which is how you're feeling and what you are saying. If you are speaking and prophesying lack and limitation in your life, then you are going to be creating lack and limitation. If you are wanting God to fill your hands up, but your hands are already full and you're not tithing, you're not giving, you're not speaking authority over your seeds, you're not commanding your seeds to grow, you're not planting your seeds in fertile ground, and you're not a good steward over what you have already been given, why do you think you are going to get more? It's just like your clothes. It's just like the clothes you wear. You got a closet full of clothes, right? But your clothes is all over the floor. They're thrown all over the hangers. You don't even know where half your stuff is. But yet, you're asking for more clothes. Or you're going to buy more clothes when you're not even doing right by the clothes you have. It's the same with your money. Money is not the root of all evil. The way we think about money and the way that we handle it is where the evil comes in. If you want to talk about evil around money. If you are having a hard time increasing your flow of abundance, you have got to look at your habits because it's not that there's a lack of money. But there's a lack within your mindset around money. I've had people say to me, well, you talk a lot about money. You talk a lot about how to get money. You talk a lot about this. I talk a lot about the prosperity consciousness of this planet. I talk a lot about what spirit leads me to talk about. My purpose is to help women, not only, not only women, men, my brothers too, but women understand that we are to have sustainable wealth and we can create sustainable wealth outside of our, our jobs, that we are not supposed to work ourselves to death trying to have money, that there is an abundant flow of money within this universe. And once you tap into that, by tapping into the power of your mind and the power of connection to spirit that you have been given, your life will change. Money will show up from all directions. You will have ideas. You'll have creative ideas on how to make money. When I started Angels with Fran, I had no idea. Actually, Angels with Fran started as Faith Works. A lot of y'all didn't know that, right? Because I kept hearing Faith Works, Faith Works, Faith Works. So I started the company as Faith Works. I had no idea what God wanted me to do, but I had to sit in it, right? I had to sit in it when I was uncomfortable. I had to sit in it when I was broke. I had to sit in it when I wasn't happy. I had to sit with me, my thoughts, 
my behaviors, how I was acting, what I was speaking, how I would read my word and then put my Bible down and get up and say that something negative. I had to understand that life and death was in the power of my tongue. And that I had been given a gift that nobody could take away from me. And that is the gift of the power of connection to God that is priceless. See, people can tell you that there's a magical genie and you can rub that genie and you can say, oh, genie, I have these wishes. Or they can tell you that there's other ways around it. But there's no way around God. God is your source. He is the only source. And every direction and every way you are receiving any kind of income right now, believe you me, God is in the midst of that. So the message is aligning yourself with the desires of your heart and being consistent and being persistent. And understanding that there is an invisible source of supply that is bigger, bigger than anything you can imagine. I often think about the story of the Harry Potter writer, J.K. Rollins, about how she said she was at Wits End, she was on her floor, she didn't even have furniture to sit in. She was on her floor, there was a typewriter, and she just was at her wit's end, and she was asking, what am I supposed to do? How is it going to happen for me? What's going to happen? Maybe not in those exact words, but close to those words, I'm sure. And she got this idea, and she began to write. And as she began to write, it was almost as if she wasn't writing. Like there was a supernatural force that came in and said, here you go. What do you think that was? Who do you think that that idea came from? What source do you think said, take that to JK? Because she's sincerely asking me. And she has no resistance to it. She has billions of dollars now. She had no dollars at first. She had billions of dollars now from an idea that was invoked and given to her by God through the invisible substance. You gotta have faith in what is unseen, y'all. Because God is working. He's working it out. And whether you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. So don't waste that time thinking about what you can't do. And start tapping into who you truly have been sent forth to be. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Again, I'm... <laughs> Still floating because I love how the Spirit of God moves. And I love how when you ask for answers, they are always given. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye for now.